Hey everyone, I'm just on recess at the Jedi Academy, and I just had a thought. And it's about what Marshall Lucas said about the Star Wars sequel trilogies. Before I read the article, for those of you who don't know who Marsha Lucas is, she is the ex-wife of director and Star Wars creator George Lucas. Marsha Lucas was also one of the film editors on the first Star Wars movie and helped mold George Lucas's vision into what the movie is today. She's also not been shy about letting the public know what she really feels about the Star Wars movies, and her history has been one of telling us what's really on her mind. About the prequel trilogies, she said that they were so bad it made her cry. So knowing that, let's get into what she had to say in the article reported by Jedi Scum. I like Kathleen. I always liked her. She was full of beans. She was really smart and really bright. Really wonderful woman. And I liked her husband, Frank. I liked him a lot. Now that she's running Lucasfilm and making movies, it seems to me that Kathy Kennedy and J.J. Abrams don't have a clue about Star Wars. They don't get it and J.J. Abrams is writing these stories. When I saw that movie where they kill Han Solo, I was furious. I was furious when they killed Han Solo. Absolutely, positively, there was no rhyme or reason to it. I thought, you don't get the Jedi story. You don't get the magic of Star Wars. You're getting rid of Han Solo? And then at the end of this last one, The Last Jedi, they have Luke disintegrate. They killed Han Solo, they killed Luke Skywalker, and they don't have a Princess Leia anymore and they're spitting out movies every year. And they think it's important to appeal to a woman's audience, so now their main character is this female who's supposed to have Jedi powers, but we don't know how she got Jedi powers or who she is. It sucks. The storylines are terrible, just terrible, awful. You can quote me, J.J. Abrams, Kathy Kennedy, talk to me. Now what this does is two things. It validates anyone who feels the same about the sequel movies and their dislike for the new characters and how the three original heroes, Luke, Han, and Leia, were reduced into supporting characters and took a back seat to what the story was supposed to be. And that is moving along the Skywalker saga. Regardless if you feel this way, Marsha Lucas has every right to voice her opinion. Mark Hamill has openly stated that he fundamentally disagreed with the writer's and director's choices on how they characterized Luke Skywalker. And I think after the fan reactions to how Luke was portrayed in The Mandalorian, most can agree that most fans were disappointed with how his character was developed or lack of being developed. The other side of the camp are those who don't agree with Mark Hamill and now Marsha Lucas's statements and think that this new direction of the Star Wars movies is a great way to go. By introducing Star Wars to a younger generation by giving them new heroes and villains that they can build a franchise from and that Luke, Leia, and Han can be seen as mentors and support to guide and lead these new heroes into a new era of the Star Wars franchise. The point being here, these are subjective opinions from Marsha, from Mark, and from both sides of these camps. You either agree with Marsha Lucas because you share her same opinions, or you fundamentally disagree with her because you're a fan of the new films. And the sequel trilogy has done some amazing things. The special effects were amazing. The actors that they chose to play these parts are very talented people. And although I think that the writing in this film was subpar and that the character development was never there, and they introduce characters such as Phasma, the Codebreaker, and even Rose with no clear arc or reason to have them in there, the biggest thing was that they regulated the main heroes and central cast into a back seat of supporting actors. I really do think they had a chance to bring in new characters and the new heroes that they did bring in. They could have had a supporting role in aiding our original heroes with their roles increasing as we go to develop their stories further into the saga. All of this, as Marsha's opinion, is obviously subjective. I am from the era that gave us the original three movies in the late 70s and early 80s, so I'm prone to wanting to continue that saga and see it concluded to an end. Maybe seeing how Thrawn had taken over to rebuild the Empire, Leia ousted from the Senate from political backlash by public opinion that Darth Vader was her father, and the Jedi not being trusted because if Darth Vader and Palpatine were force wielders, what says that Luke and his small school of Jedi couldn't one day do the same thing? There are so many storylines to draw from. But in the end, we're at this point. The movies have been released and everyone, including Marsha Lucas, is entitled to their opinion. She should not be attacked 
ridiculed, or marginalized. Her opinions should be considered, and then if you agree with them, great. If not, just take what she says with some consideration to your held opinions. And those are my random Padawan thoughts, everyone. I have to get back to class. Master Obi-Wan is giving a lecture about something called the high ground, and I don't want to miss that. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video, or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.